Michigan Congressman describes his trip to a Gulf oil platform as seeming like a visit to a space station. They got their first look at oil production in the Gulf, an industry with no shortage of critics. John Snell takes us along for the ride. All right, ready right here. Seven members of Congress get a taste of life offshore. A Sikorsky S-92 takes them 168 miles south of New Orleans into the Gulf of Mexico and onto the Hess Corporation's giant Stampede oil and gas production platform. When you come here and see this and you walk a major platform like this, it really uh, transforms the conversation. Louisiana's Steve Scalise brings along a receptive audience of relatively new Republican members of Congress, like Wyoming's Harriet Hageman. It's an incredibly impressive operation. Uh, just the technology associated with putting this together. Scalise has taken some Democrats offshore in the past as he pushes Louisiana oil and gas. And there are people that are trying to shut this down, that are trying to end this industry, uh, which would be a huge mistake because it would only make us more dependent on foreign countries. Oil allies frequently criticize President Biden's energy policy. Yet Biden recently drew fire from some Democrats for approving a huge Alaska oil project. U.S. oil production remains near historic highs, but Scalise points to the first couple of years of the Biden era, which saw no oil and gas leases in the Gulf. He says that could mean less production five years from now. When we send signals that we're shutting down American energy, the price skyrockets all over the globe and it hits hardworking families here at home. This field trip also featured everything from a tour of living quarters to the workout room to safety and emergency procedures. One of those PZIs right there hits that maximum threshold or that lower threshold, that PSH or PSL, it will shut down the equipment. Always a sensitive topic, especially in the aftermath of the 2010 Gulf spill. It's just whoever kind of needs it in their refining. Herbert Schoenman is Hess's senior vice president of global production. What are you trying to demonstrate about the, the safety of this industry and whether we're destined eventually to have another calamity like that? Now, we, safety is our absolute top priority. That's why we're using the most modern equipment. And that's why we're always putting, making sure that we got people that are competent, that we're working with contractors that got all their certifications and everything in place to ensure that the, the situation like Macondo never repeats itself. The U.S. bans oil production along most of its coast, including Florida and Congressman Aaron Bean's district. So I don't know if this would, right off the coast, would be a fit for Florida, but here, again, I'm more surprised how clean it is. So not a Florida fit, but America needs clean energy produced right here at home. The congressman flew over a rapidly disappearing Louisiana coast, ravaged by a series of hurricanes. Climate activists warn the country must find energy alternatives. How do you square what's happening with future sea level rise and that whole issue with pushing fossil fuels? Yeah, and this, this argument is really where the science matters a lot. And there's some people that want to cherry pick and ignore certain parts of science. So if carbon emissions is what somebody is most concerned about, why would you shut down energy in the country that has the cleanest and lowest carbon emissions and make us more dependent on countries that don't have standards? One of the ironies of Louisiana's effort to rebuild its coast is where the money comes from, primarily the oil industry. Oil and gas produced from platforms like this and billions of dollars from court settlements involving that 2010 spill. For us in Louisiana, it's life or death that we restore the coast. Those BP dollars run out starting in 2032. Scalise is pushing for a greater share of royalties companies pay the federal government. The first step, a sales pitch to fellow members. John Snell, Fox 8 Local First. The federal government pays Louisiana and other Gulf states 37% of the royalties from oil and gas. Scalise hopes to raise that to 50% and also get a cut of future wind energy projects in the Gulf.